Hello, thank you for being here. Welcome to my channel. This is my brand new channel that I have made, I think, yesterday, and it is called The Pen Feed. So the pen feed is obviously a feed that shows you pens, because pens are awesome. But not just any pens, this kind of pen. And I will elaborate on that right about now. So the cool thing, the nice thing about um, the camera I'm using, which is my cell phone, I can just pause and stop the recording whenever I want, which probably isn't a new feature to most people, but it's helpful because I don't know how to edit things. I do do a little bit of um, amateur electronics, but that's all analog. I don't do software very well. So this is your run-of-the-mill um, ballpoint. I don't even think this, it's, it doesn't even have a brand. It's just like some like branded generic pen. By branded, I mean it's like company advertisement. It's cheap. It's like, oh my god, that's not a terrible pen. It looks pretty cool. It's like really thick. Nice, nice. But do you really want this? It's not, it's not good. So obviously that last pen was garbage. You definitely don't want this. If this pen here was a Cadillac, this car would be in a junkyard. These are terrible. They're little paper made erasables, and most people love these, but these have never worked for me. I bought a pack of 20 of these. Every single one refuses to write, and when it does, it won't erase itself. Garbage. Now, here's one that I am actually somewhat happy with. Pilot G2. These aren't even ballpoints. These excel ballpoints. These are what's called roller balls. And they look just like your average ballpoint pen, don't they? No, you can't see that, yeah. They just look like your average ballpoint, don't they? But that is where you are wrong, my friend. They are roller balls, and they do ride a lot smoother. But they still lack a lot. No line variation, so it doesn't do the cool flexy thing that you, ex that you expect out of something nice like this. It won't give you that. In fact, even this pen won't give you that because the nib is super small. Plus, it's made of steel, and steel is like stiff as nails. But this is, this is a good step closer. Still no line variation, though. Zero character. And any texture in the table that you're writing on will show up. And your letters are going to be like, um, okay, I'm going to do like a C. It's like shaking, and you're gonna do like a B, and you're gonna do, you wanna shake it? You have to have a perfectly smooth surface to get this thing to write even halfway decent. And then there's the death grip. That is when you have a piece of paper, I'm not paper, obviously, but you have a piece of paper and you're like this. You're like holding this pen straight up and down, and you have to grip it firmly because you gotta put a lot of pressure on the page to get it to write. And that's just not good, especially for note taking, you're gonna get sore. So what you have to do instead is you have to use one of these. It just makes your life so much better. Not all of them are expensive. This is my Twisby Eco. This is the only one I have right now. I wanted to give fountain pens a chance before I went all in with them. So I bought this one, I think in March. And since then it served me well. I like it. I've only had it a few months, but it's still an amazing pen and I like it. It's really cool. This one's modular so you can take it apart. Um, it has an internal piston, which is something you don't see on most cheaper pens, and it's completely clear, which just, A, makes it beautiful, E, that, sorry, C, no, B, that makes it a lot easier, and I mean so much easier to explain to people on a YouTube video. So like I was saying, sorry about that, I had to answer something. Um, so like I said, it's clear, makes it a lot easier to explain to people on a YouTube video, and hopefully soon there's going to be a lot of you. So, um, here's a quick tip. Never use these when you're trying to disassemble your fountain pen. In fact, if there's nothing that makes it easier for you to use a fountain pen, and you have to use a tool that was not provided, don't take it apart. There is a reason. For instance, um, the Wingsung 399 is a very close rep like replica of the um, Pilot Custom 823 using inferior parts. And this is bad because when you use inferior parts, things are prone to breaking. And it doesn't look as nice. It looks very close. 
but it's not gold plated. You don't get a gold nib. You get a decently large steel nib, which is still smaller than the 14 karat gold nib that you get on the Pilot. But if, but you're not supposed to take it apart. You actually have to use this special tool, tooth tool to get around this little thread lock. Cause unlike the Pilot Custom 74, they're trusting that you're not an idiot. And if you have this much money to blow on a pen, you know enough about it to not try to disassemble it unless you absolutely need to. So they do include flats on the thread so you can get your fingers, or I think a seven millimeter box wrench will also work. So you can like fix it yourself if you need to, but still send it to pilot though, because don't be stupid, you might break it. It's a $300 pen you could wreck. And you don't want to total your pens because then you have no more pens. You don't want to have no more pens. I know I don't want to have no more pens. So, but the Wingsong 399, it's really brittle plastic. You unscrew it, it's done. It's just gone. Because it's not that if you unscrew it, you're going to break it. It's just if you try to put it back in, and there's even a little bit of cross threading because there's no, there's not deep threads, very shallow. If you mess up, you're going to break it. And Wingsong does not give you a decent warranty. So you're just kind of out of luck. Like the $30 pen, like good luck getting a warranty. Twisby nicer though. Twisby is the same price, except it's obviously a much nicer pen. Twisby makes um, a pen called the VAC 700R. Same rough idea. Most people just don't like the step from the barrel to the grip. So on that note, that's a rough thing about fountain pens. Uh, their nibs will come in different sizes, much like ballpoints, where you can get um, different like widths of the line that the page will make. Sorry, the line that the pen will make on a page. Um, you can have a fountain pen with a, an extra fine, and this is um, the Japanese sizes that you can get from Pilot, at least. So in America, we just have four main ones: so extra fine, fine, medium, and broad, and then occasionally double broad. But first off, I don't have that many fingers. But secondly. So in Japan, for Pilot, you can get an extra fine, an extra, extra fine, I think. And you can get a fine and a medium, a fine medium, a broad, a double broad. Um, so like double the broadness, I guess. I don't know. It's a double B is what they call it. So a double broad. Uh, you can get an oblique broad left, an oblique broad right, a soft medium, a soft fine medium, a Waverly, which has a slightly up bend, so it's nicer, I guess. Music, which is made for writing perfectly parallel. And you can also get zoom. So that means the higher angle you hold the pen, the broader the line's going to get. But the more shallow you hold the pen, the nib will make a, um, a thinner line. And it'll wave from, like, a uh, fine all the way up to a double broad. So it's an interesting nib. Gives a lot of character without a lot of work. Uh, you can also get stub nibs, but that's a whole different thing. And then the Pilot Parallel does its own thing. It's not really a fountain pen, I don't think. It does use all the same parts except for the nib. It's like two plates. Not important. That's not what we discuss on this channel. We discuss fountain pens. But the Pilot Custom 74 is the one I plan to get for now. Um, I'm going to save up a little bit. Uh, then I'm just going to slowly buy more. Uh, my birthday's coming up, so I'll be able to ask for another pen then. We might do some inks on this channel. Just spice it up a little bit. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends, because I don't even have one subscriber yet. Thank you.